Hello. <laughs> I'm in an awkward position right now because um, <laughs> I just need to be able to show you how we're going to make eyelids. I just wanted you to see my face today. So we're going to start. Today's lesson is all about eyelid curtains. To be honest, I haven't really seen any um, valance eyelids before. Oh, yes, I have. Anyway, here we go. Now the thing is, we've got our curtain stroke valance already done. Use imagination as I said before, imagine your curtain long. This is a short version of what it is. Right, so we've got our hem already done here. We've got our mitered corners at the end. And now we're going to turn the top over once again. Now here we're going to turn the top over just one inch. And here is our tape that I've already cut, which is eyelid tapes. Um, but one thing I've got to tell you about eyelids, these tapes, is don't go just cutting them anywhere you think you want to because it, it's kind of, it will go wrong, funny enough. This gap here makes these two appear. If you cut it here, then you've got an awkward one and that's a pair which they don't work because there's no string in the middle to, to pull it so you have to be careful when you make this because sometimes you just stitch this on your curtain and you don't think about the consequences of what's going to happen afterward it won't match up and that's happened to me before right so be careful make sure you centralize it and you've got this section here always a pair together let me just show you if I can, the unevenness about it. Um, let me see if I fold that. Let me see now if I fold it the other way. It's just uneven. Can you see it? There's that circle there. Right. So anyway, so I. So let's um, let's put our curtain at ten inch. So we're going to turn this up. So we're going to have a one inch seam allowance just to match up with the others all along uh, so we're going to pin that and we're going to measure it 10 inches As I said before, these what I'm making a sample for a showroom, for a shop. If you want to see them, or if you want to track down the fabric, the, comp the company is Wimbledon Sewing Machine in Ballam. Right, so that's 10 inches. Um, as I say, I'm going to mitre the end of the corners. So we're just going to, at the end, just mitre this corner here so we get a nice finish and we just turn that down and we do the same to the other end now you will pin these down we'll find our center once again this time our center is not a circle it's a space so we're going to find the center of this as well and it, actually it's very important that you do this on the eyelid curtains because you will end up in trouble but the, the problem is with when you're putting tapes on when you're sewing them on they actually stretch out to the position that you put them in let's give it an iron first and hope this kind of semi stretch it first so now we'll put centre to centre and actually if I was you I'd stretch it first before you put it on and then fold the end, fold the end in.
and it's important really most of the time when we're stitching we can tweak things to fit how we want but this one we do end up in trouble so where we pin the pin we'll try and make sure it stays I like working with this tape because you can pull the string to the size of your window no problem and I love using this tape and to me it looks better than the expensive one so I'm just going to put a bit of attention on it to make sure it stays the size that I put it on look it's given already Forget, even though I've come down here I'm not continuing all the way around I'm stopping and I'm going back to the beginning always bear that in mind no matter what tape you're putting on even if it's tape tubular tape for your um, Roman blinds do not turn it around go back and start at the beginning I forgot my name on the last lot. Uh, let's not forget my name. That's who I am. thing about this one is that all these holes you've got to sit there and cut them all out and that's it that's all you've got to do for this at the time being can you see that that's perfect no puckering no puckering at all so now we um, take the pins out, sit down, cut all these holes and put the eyelids in. What colour should we put in? I hope I've got, I've got plenty black. Let's see if we've got gold. We'll see which one goes best. Follow the circle. You don't need to do it any bigger or any smaller, just do it exactly what you see. And just follow the circle. I've started at this one first because I've got to get rid of that thick bulk at the end. So. Right. And we open these up. You pay around £1.10 pence for these things, each one of these rings. Right, so there is a there's a top, there's a right and a back and a front. So that's it's as simple as that. Look at that. What do you think? Should I have put the gold? I don't know quite honestly. I like the black. <sighs> Find the string that's in here and we pull it and it permanently stay. This is the difference between the other one. That's why I prefer it because it will always stay when you open them it looks regimental so I'm going to pull them all up and then it will always be like that once again thank you for watching my show